In the last episode, we learned about TFX, which helps us engineer our machine learning pipeline so we can deploy our models in production. Are you ready to see it all in action? Let's go. Welcome to AI Adventures, where we explore the art, science, and tools of machine learning. I'm Priyanka Urgaria, and today I'm going to show you how to manage a production machine learning pipeline using TFX. For this, we are going to use the Chicago Taxi dataset, available in BigQuery, and the goal of our model is to predict if customers tip more or less than 20%. So it is a binary classification problem. Here's what we will do. First, we will set up our environment on Google Cloud. Then we'll set up and deploy AI pipelines on a Kubernetes cluster using Kubeflow. Then we set up Cloud AI Platform Notebook instance and work in the notebook to run the pipeline. We hop into the Google Cloud console and create an AI Platform Pipeline cluster. Configure the Kubeflow pipeline. Make sure to allow access to the Cloud APIs. This is an important step for the cluster to access other pieces of our project. Once the cluster is created, we deploy the pipeline. Now we open our pipeline dashboard and the TF notebook. We create a new notebook instance here. You can change the machine type here to a faster processing machine, but remember that there's a cost associated with your choice. Now we are in our notebook. The first step is to install TFX and Kubeflow pipeline packages, downloading scaffold module, we then set the path to include user Python binary directory and a directory containing scaffold. Then we check which version of TFX is installed and then set the project ID as the environment variable. Set the Kubeflow cluster endpoint and then we set the name for the custom Docker image of our pipeline. And now we set the name of our pipeline and copy the pipeline template into the project directory. Today, for this example, we're using Chicago Taxi dataset to perform binary classification. So the template sets the model to taxi. As a result of this command, in the file browser, we see a basic scaffold of files that build a pipeline, including Python source codes, sample data, and Jupyter notebooks. Now, if you're working on a different problem, these files might look a little bit different. Here, let's see what these files are. Pipeline directory contains the definition of the pipeline. Configs.py defines the common constants for the pipeline runners. Pipeline.py defines the TFX components, and a pipeline models directory contains the machine learning model definitions. Features.py and features test.py defines the features of the model. Preprocessing.py and preprocessing test file defines feature engineering using TFX transform. Estimator directory contains an estimator based model. Inside that, constants.py defines constants of the model, and model.py and model test.py defines the DNN model using the TensorFlow estimator. Keras directory contains a Keras-based model, which is constants.py file defines the constants of the model, and the model.py and model test.py defines the DNN model using Keras. Kubeflow DAG runner file defines runners for each orchestration engine. This example includes both an estimator-based model and a Keras-based model for reference, so you should choose whichever one is best for you. Now, before we run our TFX pipeline on Kubeflow, we first need somewhere to store the artifacts that will be created when we run the pipeline. These artifacts are called payloads, and we will use Google Cloud Storage to store them. We copy our sample data to GCS, and then we create the pipeline. This will generate a Docker file and build.yaml to build a Docker image. Make sure to add these files to your source code system, for example, Git, along with other source files. Now we are ready to run our TFX pipeline using the TFX run create command. We can also see this run under experiments in the Kubeflow pipelines dashboard. Now the first task in any data science or machine learning project is to understand and clean the data. ExampleGen ingests and splits the input data set. Statistics Gen calculates statistics for the data set. Schema Gen examines the statistics and creates a data schema. 
Example validator looks for the anomalies and missing values inside the data set. In the pipeline.py file, we will enable these components and update the pipeline for a rerun. After the rerun, we can see our pipeline in the visual format. And after understanding the data and cleaning it, the next step is to transform, to increase the predictive quality of our data and reduce the dimensionality and feature engineering. After transforming the data, we use the trainer component of the TFX to train our model. Then we would run evaluator to perform deep analysis of the training results. And then we use the pusher component to deploy the model to a serving infrastructure. I enabled all these in the pipeline.py and the resulting pipeline with all the components looks like this in the Kubeflow dashboard. Depending on the requirements of your workload, your pipeline might need more CPUs, GPUs, or memory. To modify these, I've included the documentation below. Now that we know how the TFX pipeline works, you might be wondering how we can directly use BigQuery as the data source. There's a component called BigQuery Example Gen that connects to BigQuery in a specified Google Cloud project. TFX interoperates with several other managed Google Cloud services, such as Cloud Dataflow. Several TFX components use Apache Beam to implement data parallel pipelines, and it means that you can distribute data processing workloads using Cloud Dataflow. TFX also interoperates with Cloud AI Platform for training and prediction. You can set your trainer component to use Cloud AI Platform Training, which is a managed service for training machine learning models. And when your model is built and ready to be served, you can push your model to Cloud AI Platform Prediction for serving. In this video, we just created and ran a machine learning pipeline and visualized the results of each run. Give TFX a try yourself with a different data set and let me know how it goes in the comments below. If you like this video and would like to see more such content, give us a like and subscribe.